And Fox News contributor Newt Gingrich. Great to have you, Mr. Speaker. Listen here to a portion of Robert Hur's testimony. My assessment in the report about the relevance of the president's memory was necessary and accurate and fair. Most importantly, what I wrote is what I believe the evidence shows and what I expect jurors would perceive and believe. I did not sanitize my explanation, nor did I disparage the president unfairly. Do you think he'll be able to get those words out before Republicans or Democrats pounce? Well, I, I suspect Republicans, at least, will be pretty patient because her's making their case. I mean, the fact, there's one key question for, for Robert Herr. Does he think that Biden was faking it and is actually mentally better than he was in the interview? Or does he think Biden really is that mentally incompetent? In which case, those of us who watch the State of the Union have to ask how much Ritalin he was on at the time of the State of the Union. Uh, because that certainly was not the person who you're going to see uh, in these interviews. So uh, this really opens a very deep problem for the Biden administration about whether or not this president literally is competent on a daily basis to be commander in chief. Well, uh, we're going through the transcript and you heard some of Hillary's reporting there. There's more too about the garage. <clears throat> And the Corvette, apparently the garage was getting crowded. Biden says boxes were moved to make room for the Corvette. Went on to say to complicate things, uh, it was being worked on, the car, because he was getting ready for an interview with Jay Leno. And there's, there's other details in here, too. And we're, we're, we're going to hear those play out. Uh, Love a name soon. dropper. Yeah, and it <laughs> described why well, there was a ladder here and there were golf clubs there and on and on it goes. You mentioned the State Look, of the Union, and you know, de Democrats said there was a man with energy and enthusiasm and vigor. And then you have this moment from New Hampshire yesterday. Roll this. Am I allowed to take any questions? <laughs> <laughs> any, any, anybody here? Stop it. Thank you, boss. So then it goes to color bars, and you hear the staff cut him off. He, he was trying to say, anybody here a staff member? Now think about this, right? You got a general campaign, right? I just showed on the map um, these battleground states. You got to be there. You can't be in your basement like 2020. You got to travel. You got to do it a lot. How is this going to hold up, do you think? Well, as I said, I mean, <clears throat> I've had two doctors who are members of Congress send me emails saying he clearly uh, had a huge amount of Ritalin uh, the night of the State of the Union, and that's very dangerous. It has all sorts of side effects. There's a reason it was the first uh, legally controlled drug under the United Nations. Uh, and I think there's a real question here. Uh, you have a man who, based on that interview in New Hampshire, clearly can't function as commander-in-chief. Uh, you have a war in Ukraine, a war in Israel. You have the threat of Iran, uh, the threat of China and North Korea. And you have a commander in chief who clearly is out of it a good deal of the time. Uh, and I think this is a staff driven presidency. So uh, this, this hearing today is important because it goes at the heart of whether or not in the, that long period of testimony, uh, we saw a um, basically Joe Biden who's incapable of being commander in chief, but also raises one other question I want to point out. You take the total length of time that he was mishandling secrets, which apparently goes all the way back to the time he was in the Senate. You look at the number of places he had secrets that agreed to which they were out of control. And you have to ask yourself, tell me again what they're trying Donald Trump for. I mean, if they didn't try Biden for all this many, many years of mishandling secrets, and they didn't try Hillary Clinton for 32,000 erased uh, emails. What is it exactly that Trump did, uh, which was a much shorter period of time, with all the documents under tight control? Uh, it really shows you how sick the system is. We were just watching Robert Hur enter there. Um, we were watching it carefully. Dana, we've done this a lot for the past couple of weeks uh, with different individuals. Didn't seem like there was any response or even any questions thrown his way during that wall walk. No, and so, so he's there. He's there a little bit early. I'm sure he wants to get this done and over with. Um, but, Speaker, I just I do want to check one thing. I mean, the doctors who are members of Congress who said the president was on Ritalin, they haven't, they don't know that for sure. I mean, that Mr. is uh, just a suspe suspicion on their part. And I think that was your report the doctor, like Corinne Jean-Pierre said after his physical, 
the president proves every day how he operates, how he thinks, etc. The bottom line for them on Thursday night was that uh, the Democrats walked away from that saying, oh, thank goodness, he's going to be able to make it to the convention. Sure, and then that, that was true for one night for about two hours, uh, and then you have him in New Hampshire again becoming the normal. The normal Joe Biden is forgetful, uh, I think very, very shaky, uh, and uh, often doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, you had a briefly uh, prepped up Joe Biden, who I'm sure had slept extra long, had practiced a speech many times, and for two hours he was okay. Now, if you think two hours out of a week is enough to be president, he, he proved it. But as you said, he immediately backslid to the, the Joe Biden, what, what her is describing the Joe Biden in New Hampshire. He's describing a person who can't remember anything, and he's describing a person who has had a lifetime of mishandling secrets, which is why I think it's as important to go after the length of time that Biden has mishandled secrets, the number of places they were. I mean, you can argue that Trump shouldn't have had him at Mar-a-Lago under lock and key, but at least he knew what he was doing. In the case of Biden, he says, gee, I didn't know they were there. I didn't understand this. But isn't that uh, I mean, the it's, issue it's, then, it's which crazy. is intent? <clears throat> we don't know what his intent is because I'm not sure he's, I am not sure he is mentally competent enough to have an intent. That's the whole point. You're dealing with a guy who's so lax, so out of touch with reality, and so easily makes up things that you have no idea what his intent was, and neither does he. If he can't remember when he was vice president, he probably can't remember what his intent was. Oh. Newt Gingrich, thank you for your time. Uh, Robert Hur is going to be in that room thank in a matter of minutes, and we'll yep. watch.